Okay, uh, in order to begin, we need first a uh, data source. So you go to uh, Cognizant Administration, then you select Configuration, and there you have uh, the data sources list. Okay, now it's empty, of course. We're going to create the first one, uh, so just click a new data source icon and the type the, a name. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the same as the database. Yeah, click next and uh, just choose uh, which type of connection. We're going to use now AllADB, which works very well. And uh, again, hit hit next, and uh, then you you type which IP address or server name you're connecting to the database name and in this case as I'm going to use the SQL Server security uh, we need a username and password okay just be sure to click the password under the sign on because you're going to need it in order to save it now we uh, test the connection and uh, okay well it's okay okay it's connected so uh, we just close this one uh, the other window again and okay, click next. Uh, then we have uh, uh, additional parameters, but in, in this case, just leave it blank. Skip to the next, and that's it. Okay, so uh, after creating our data source, uh, uh, we're going to move to Framework Manager. We're going to create a project. Um, just type any name, Norwood in this case. And uh, well, you, you have to choose some parameters, like the language or uh, so. And uh, what we're going to, to, to do here is to retrieve objects from the database. So just just choose our, our, the only one we have here, our data source for, for Norwegian database. We expand it and we are going to select a customer's label, okay? It could be anything. I mean, it could be a table, could be a view, could be a store procedure, but for, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to choose one table. So, okay, here we are in the Framework Manager, and uh, here you have the, 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 the resources, the tables, the namespaces, and the packages. Everything is almost empty, we only have one table, so let's take a look at it. Uh, this is a tutorial for really newbies, so please, uh, don't be too desperate, okay? Just, just uh, have a little patience. Okay, so... Uh, uh, this is the table customers and we have the fields here you can expand uh, on the tree so we can see them at the left side it's it's really the same thing well at the bottom you see the, the properties of, of the table and if you select uh, another uh, a field then you can see the properties of each field now we're going to run the metadata, metadata wizard so we're going to add more tables okay one, one thing I really like about Cognos is that, that you can mix different data sources. L let's think you have an Oracle database in one server and you have another server with Microsoft SQL database and you want to combine them inside a report. This is really very straightforward in Cognos. You just have to, to choose from here. Uh, different, different. It could be XML, uh, relational databases, whatever. And this is one of the things I really love from Cognos. Okay, so now we just have imported uh, four, four tables. As you can see, they have relationships between them. Um, and and the, uh, the customers does does not have a relationship now. That's because we, we, we actually imported before this one. But we can create it. It's no problem. I mean, the wizard is going to, to, to do it for ourselves. But in case we are missing it, like here, you just have to drag and drop. And, and it's going to open this dialog, and then you can see, and you can adjust uh, the, the relationships. Uh, the, if it's not clear enough if with the arrows, you have this sentence. And uh, if you need by some, somehow a really a, a really complex uh, join, you can you can type there an expression dialog. Okay, okay. So you, we just save it here, and um, okay. Um, well, what else? Oh, okay, uh, testing if in case you need to see what's inside the table, or if you want to test if the objects are running well, you can you, you can just right click and select test, uh, and then you can browse into the data uh, actually. And um, what else? Uh, well, if you if, if you click on the if you double click on, on the relations, you can actually edit the definition, or you just right click like here. 
un game uh, well uh, what else uh, yeah, this this one is a weird uh, relationship because it's the, the, the primary key and the foreign key are in the same table uh, this is really not really so 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 weird but it's not the usual the usual should be one to many and uh, what else well if you click edit definition then you can see the SQL that Cognos is generating for each table for now leave it like that please don't, don't, don't change it uh, we're going to twist that later uh, generally speaking it's not really a, a good idea to, to, to modify it uh, what else well let's let's work with the relations um, we have here the customers and the orders what we're saying here is that every customers have one or more orders I mean this is a usual thing but it, it could be like in this database that there are some customers which don't have orders placed so as you if we can run this query we can see that we have two customers without orders it's not a big deal but if you want to show every customers even those without orders then you should change the relationship like we are going to do now so we, you, you should select a left join okay you can take a look at the sentence that Cognos is creating. It's really very straightforward and weird now. So it says that for each customer there are zero or more orders. Let, let, let's uh, test the SQL thing. We're going to do accounting for the uh, the customers. Uh, let's place the distinct statement. Okay. So. Uh, we are going to see how many customers we have in the orders. This was the first relationship we have, you remember, okay? So we have 89 customers. Of course, customers which have orders, at least one. So if, if we modify the join, and instead of join, we, we type left outer join, this is going to give us 91, which is the difference are the two customers that we were missing in the first relationship. So this is why you need to sometimes to change these relations. I mean, this is really not very usual, but could be, okay? Now we're going to create a, a calculated fields. Again, for me, it's better to do this in, in the database side. I, I, I love the views, but sometimes uh, you need to mix different environments uh, like uh, db2 and sql or oracle and sql or xml and sql and in, in this case calculated fields are going to be really really worth it besides if you create calculate fields here you're going to have it deployed on, on, on everything on the cognos so let's just try with the uh, revenue field okay the, the, the formula is actually very easy, it's just uh, the unit times uh, the, uh, the, the quantity minus discount. We test it and okay, it's running very good. Um, uh, okay, we, we, we type OK here and uh, well, as you can see the calculated field is now one, like one more field we, we have on the order details table. Okay, now let's move to formatting. Uh, one of the greatest thing that Cognos has, uh, if you compare it with another reporting tools, is that you create everything here in the in, in the framework, uh, like formatting, and then you don't have to bother w w with the with the report creation. I mean, it, you can have two teams, one for the modeling and the other one for developing, and uh, maybe the modeling I is responsible for the formatting thing and they can do it here it's really cool so you can reuse a lot of things and uh, all the reports look very uh, very much with the same look and feel okay so now in this case we just have to, to, to this is just a tutorial so let's uh, just switch the format a little bit for the unit price we're going to choose no decimal uh, uh, numbers and we're going to use a uh, thousand separators and I guess that's it okay now we uh, we choose the discount field which is a percent actually so let's try to select the percent uh, formatting uh, without any decimal places again okay uh, 
because not everything has discount, let's say uh, that when you find missing, which are nils actually in the database, or if you find zero values, then don't show anything. We don't want zero percent. It looks like crap. And uh, uh, revenue. Okay, we're going to, to 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 format like currency again. Uh, okay, and we were going to do very much the same thing. Uh, as I told before, I really, I re really would like to stress for for the new new developers in Cosmos. Do it the most work here, not in Report Studio, not everywhere else. Here is where you have to work. Okay, uh, this this is just for the records. Another one, uh, the date field. Uh, most of the time, date fields uh, you just have to to, to to switch between short and, and long. But uh, here I'm going to show you it, yeah, now how you can customize more. Okay. By the way, uh, all these uh, settings. Uh, these are overriding the, the settings because uh, by default you just get the, your browsers and your OS uh, regional uh, configuration. Okay. Now uh, to, to finish this section, uh, if we go to, to to a portal, you can see it's empty. Okay. This is Cognos Connection Portal. Now we don't have anything here. It's really blank. So we're going to publish one package. Just for the tutorial, one way to create one package and publish it to Cognos Portal. So you we just type the name, and now we uh, orders will be wise, and then <coughs> you select which objects of the diagram you're going to publish. In this case, everything, okay? And then you select which uh, function sex. Uh, I know everything here is going to be a skill server, so we just stick with a skill server and ignore the rest. Then you click finish, and you cho you choose yes. Okay, we're going to create a, 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 a package. Uh, we uncheck the versioning. I, I really hate this this versioning thing. And then uh, you click next. And uh, well, here if you could have a in a production environment, you should secure your package. But in this case, it's okay. Uh, okay, and you hit publish. And uh, okay, that's it. The package has been created, and now it's not only on our machine, but also in Cognos Portal. Let's refresh this screen, and there you are.